Are you suffering from deep aching pain deep inside your buttocks due to tight piriformis muscle and you have difficulty opening your knee out or you can't even do a cross-legged position hi my name is annie and welcome to my channel annie pilates physical therapist in this video i'll be demonstrating on how to strengthen your piriformis muscle if you've been tight and weak on that area that causes irritation on the sciatic nerve that passes behind or through the muscle. So get your mat ready and elastic band to join me today. If you're suffering from piriformis syndrome and you want to learn more about it, I have a lot of video playlists that you can start watching to learn more about the piriformis muscle and why it's the culprit of some back pain that causes irritation that radiates down the leg even though it's not from your lumbar spine because the piriformis muscle is a tiny muscle that helps external rotates our hip and sometimes it gets pinched and tight because if you've been sitting a lot and you causes that irritation on the muscle so it's a never-ending battle of tightness and stiffness and sometimes you feel a deep na nagging pain all the way in your buttock that you have difficulty sitting for a while so my recommendation is to try to stand up every 30 minutes if your work requires you to sit a lot to place it on your cell phone put a timer or an alarm to get up stand up and stretch and there's also other ways other than standing up and walking and if you can't even walk because of pain it's best to stretch the muscle as well as to strengthen so in order to prevent it from having this havoc of never-ending cycle of pain spasms and tightness so with the elastic band you're going to place this around your thighs and because most patients with piriformis syndrome they don't have that external rotation of the hip so even in sitting position try your best to keep your back straight and if you want you can sit down on a chair and do a gentle butterfly stretches and you want to make sure you do it slow and steady and when you open you want to make sure you hold it even for 10 seconds hold to slowly build that muscle and my recommendation is to do that 10 times for beginners and slowly build up to three sets of 10. And after doing that piriformis external rotation to activate your piriformis and other muscles, because it's not only your piriformis you're activating, to isolate your piriformis muscles, you're gonna lie down on your back if you're having back spasms as well. So you have more stability and control because sometimes sitting has more pressure in your spine and also it could cause you to slouch forward, especially if you have weak core muscles. Other ways to slowly tap your foot left and right with the band around your thighs, and that will help you navigate and move that hip joint. At the same time with the band, you're slowly strengthening the muscles. And my recommendation is to do that 10 times as well, and slowly build up the sets every few days up to three sets. And you want to engage your core, keep your back straight, pull your belly button in to engage your abdominal bracing as you breathe in and breathe out. And then once you feel that it's a little bit less pain, now you can let the foot hang now on top of the other thigh and feel that gentle stretch now. And now you can do a little bit pulses up and down, internal and external rotation to almost like flossing that muscle and it feels so good now and my recommendation is 10 times as well and slowly build up three sets of 10 even the good side it's good to balance your body and so you can also picture what's a normal hip should feel like so you can compare what's the goal of the other hip so what's a normal hip should feel where there should be less pain and after doing that lovely Internal and external rotation is also nice to do a gentle trunk rotation to help stretch those muscles all the way to your lumbar spine. So my recommendation in this one is 10 seconds hold on one side and do that three, 10 times as well. Up to three sets if you can. And then if your problematic side is your left, then lie on your right. And clamshell is one of my best exercises as well to isolate the muscles more. You're against gravity now, and the band helps target the muscles more, contract, relax. And for beginners, you can just open and close the knee, but try your best not to lean back. Try your best to keep your back straight, 
keep your spine in neutral position so in order to do that you can place one hand in front of you so when you lift your leg your knee up you have your hand here it reminds your body your posture to keep it straight instead of leaning back like this and you don't want that the purpose of this is to isolate this muscle your glutes muscles as well to help support your piriformis and then as you get stronger you can start holding it for one to two seconds until you can do three 10 seconds hold and after doing the beginner clamshell then you can do parallel clamshell lift your knees closer to you to 90 degrees and lift it up make sure your foot and knee is level and this is a little bit more progression especially with your foot up and as I said same thing up and down first three sets of 10 until you can do three seconds hold up to five seconds hold and after targeting those muscles place the band around your ankles and you can do reverse clamshell to target a deeper muscle group even your gluteus medius and that will help release pressure of your piriformis muscle so those are my recommendations on strengthening your piriformis muscles of course the best way also is to release the tension after strengthening the muscles so it will be less spasmatic and guarding now you can really stretch it further so now you can let go of the bands and stretch hold it for 10 seconds hold for beginners up to 30 seconds hold knee to chest modified version and you don't find the stretch anymore once you feel a little bit better with less stiffness and tightness then you can start hugging both knees in the figure four of stretch and if this is too difficult for you because you're very weak on your core and your hip flexors then you can also do this in sitting position in a chair figure four if you're sitting in a chair of course i'm sitting on the mat so it's this is too advanced for those with really tight performance and they can hug your knee to your chest but if you're in a chair example i'm in a chair figure four and then i'm going to lean forward so that's for absolute beginners if you love this video and want to learn more about pilates yoga and physical therapy health and wellness please subscribe to my channel ring the bell so you won't miss anything like and share this video every like you give to my channel you are supporting me i'll be reopening my back master class for those who needed an extra support and guidance on how to improve their spine now health improve core strength, improve posture, and regain life without back pain. Click the link down below, be part of my early bird wait list for first come, first serve basis. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy. See you in my next video training. Bye!